had a girl in middle school look at me directly say, that is the weirdest looking kid I have ever seen. I remember feeling a mix of sadness and annoyance. She said it while at a table with her other three stuck-up girlfriends. That's when you go to the bathroom, poo in your hand and throw it at her. Go full primal. Comparing me, her BF of four years at the time, but now X, to the type of BF she wants. I want a Lamborghini, something exciting and fun. You are like a Prius, the safe choice, but if I go get a Lamborghini and crash then I know the Prius won't take me back. Like, excuse the fuck out of me? Wow, she says that like she can even afford a Lamborghini. Found out my soon-to-be ex-wife told her work colleagues her pet name for me was Paycheck. That cut pretty deep. Jesus Christ. What a goddamn shitty fucking person she is. I always liked him more than you. To be honest I don't think I ever loved you. I have gotten over a lot of what she said to me. But this one still stings to this day. White heart. My ex-wife once said to me. Why don't you just kill yourself like your brother did? This was less than a month after he had killed himself. First and only time I've ever felt the urge to hit a woman. I didn't, though. Twisting the knife and salting the wound. What a cunt. I repeatedly minimized and teased your dick so you wouldn't feel inclined to cheat. She was shortly after an ex. Imagine being that insecure, lol. I could never. I asked a girl out at a bar and she laughed, apologized, and said, Oh, I'm sorry. I just don't really see Asian guys as men. Pretty sure she was trying to say that she wasn't attracted to Asian men, but she was drunk and said it in the worst possible way. I had something similar. Sorry. Asian boys are not dating material. I'm looking for a man. She was Asian too. You look like you'll be a rapist when you grow up. Edit. For everyone asking if she was right, no, she wasn't. We didn't know each other at all. She just popped that off randomly one day in a class in 8th grade. For what it's worth, it definitely messed me up more than I thought it would. A guy the first thought of as my best friend told me, you look like a rapist, to my face. He was spreading lies behind my back about me being a stoner and a drug addict. Cut contact without a second thought when I found out. You're the reason your father killed himself, and I'm glad I cheated on him, despite the fact you came out. Love you too, Ma. Fuck that hoe. My ex-wife said to me as we were going through a bitter divorce, do everyone a favor and kill yourself. That one sticks. No cool. Don't let it stick. She's not worth it. She's your ex for a reason. Ew. I felt that. It's been 12 years. I can still feel it. My wife said she settled for me when we were having an argument. It wouldn't be that bad if I didn't believe that's how she really feels. I've never been able to put that one out of my mind completely. And even when things are good now I love her a little less than I used to. Then why are you settling currently? The way the missus says, I want a divorce. Knowing full and damn well that she's not leaving. Even when I offer to help her pack her bags. And it's just words that are meant to inflict pain rather than an actual solution to a transitory problem. At that point, you just get a divorce. She wanted it after all. My ex-wife and I were having an argument and when backed into an intellectual corner, rather than admit I was right or apologize, she saw fit to simply unload on me every insecurity I had ever confided in her. At that exact moment I felt the last drop of love I had for her drain from my heart. Damn. Glad she's your ex. There are women out there that won't betray that trust. I haven't found one yet but I've heard they're out there. I want a divorce and I'm keeping the house. Said to my face as my father lay dying of a heart attack. Dot. Spoiler. She did not get the house. I dumped all my savings into a lawyer who uncovered a years-long credit card scheme she was running. One, sign here or you're going to jail for a long time. Conversation later, I was a free man. Edit. I didn't think this would blow up. Y'all are too kind cool. 
Damn that's rough. But I'm glad to hear it panned out for you. Still, ouch. She said at the beginning of our relationship. Everything you love and everyone you know will slowly become mine. Dot. Thought she was joking. Ended it with. Everything you own and everyone you love will slowly become mine. Dot and then I'll leave you. And then she does a evil laugh. When I was expressing how I felt she was like, oh so I have to also worry about your feelings now. And I know that sounds provoked. But I swear it wasn't I legit just expressing me being sad. One time, I was trying to tell a girl I was seeing that she can be kinda mean, and it was starting to hurt my feelings. Dot. She goes. OMG, stop manplaining at me. Mom. During an argument, God took your father away because he wasn't teaching you how to be a man and he was a waste of breed. Quote. Dot. Ex-girlfriend. While we were breaking up, the only thing I'll miss about you is your dog. I feel your pain on the first one. One time a girl said to me, wow you're 22? You're balding like you're in your mid-30s. Which seemed uncalled for. Edit. This wasn't a girl I was interested in. So I didn't really let it impact me too much. It was just rude haha. -ha. Oh man that's awful. You know what? If I was your father, I would have beaten your ass too. Dot. The response I got from my then GF when she was in a mood over asterisk, women are always right, asterisk, but she was in fact incorrect, and when I proved she was wrong, without malice or gloating, she said it like it was a sick burn. For context, my father was a violent alcoholic who beat me growing up. I made the mistake of opening about it a year into dating, about five weeks before this dinner. I broke up with her on the spot inside the restaurant. Walked to the host stand and paid for only my meal in cash plus tip. Happy one year dating anniversary Amani. Should have thrown a crucifix at her too so she'd be banished back to hell where she belongs. What an absolute piece of shit. Matched on Tinder. Before I could even write anything she just said asterisk, matched with you to tell you you're kinda ugly. Should have replied with, same was told she doesn't see how any woman will ever be attracted to me and that I should be eradicated from earth because I'm short. I still deal with insecurities. I don't mind if she's taller than me but damn man that one sucked. First time meeting her through a mutual friend. Took one look at me in disgust and then later on that night she drops this on me for no apparent reason. Apparently she thought I was insufferable. Short kings rise up brother. Found my wife was cheating on me. We were arguing because she was going out with him that night. I just got back from a deployment. Gone for six months. Friend of ours came over and told me my mom called her because she couldn't get a hold of me. Told me my dad just had a heart attack. My wife looked at me and said, when it rains, it pours, and walked out. She's my ex of course. Caught damn Jody strikes again. Sorry buddy. That really sucks, and military wives that do this are vile scum. Thankfully it didn't happen to me while I was in, but I had a good buddy that it did happen to. He was devastated, lost his marbles and drugged their mattress out into the front yard of military housing and set it on fire. She had slept with the guy in their bed multiple times. Dot. I'm glad she's your ex and I hope your pops is doing okay. My fiancé of one year at the time. On Valentine's Day, four months before our scheduled wedding. Dot. I don't think you're really that attractive. I mean, I guess you're kind good looking but nothing special. Anyway, I've already slept with two guys since we took our break last week, and I'm just not feeling marriage right now. Sorry. Edit. Thanks for the support and kind words, all. It's unfortunate to say that this situation was about seven years ago now or so. And now at 32, I'm still in the position of not having a family or marriage. I haven't given up trying, but I'm not sure how far away that is. I guess you're lucky you didn't marry this girl. Wow. Also, good looking but nothing special, WTF is she expecting?